it's low, it's not bright. And then the sync stripper tells us whenever there's an H sync or a V sync. So internal to the code, we can keep track of where, which line we're at, and whether we're on a hot or even frame because it's interlaced. So what we do internally in our code is wait for the line to hit between 400 and 450, and then we delay enough to get to the puck, which is about 10 microseconds, and then another five microseconds to get to where we're gonna be reading the note. And we check for the presence of, uh, and like we check for brightness there to check whether the, the puck is there or the note is there. We do and that using the analog comparator to see if it's above the reference voltage. And so if it is, then we mark that, yes, there's something there. And then after that, we sort of process it to find where the median of that is so that we get an idea of which line the puck is on and which line the note is on. And if it's below, then we sort of try to raise the frequency to bring it up. And otherwise, we bring it down. So, so how many lines are you actually reading? How many video lines are you actually reading? We read 50 lines, but wow. we only read like one column of that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Two columns. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, two columns. And that's, and that's how you manage it on the, on the smart, relatively slow microcontroller. Yeah, we're using the 20 megahertz clock, right? And so you're getting quite good following there. Yeah, we've actually got some startling good results sometimes. We've gotten up to about 50% off of the things that we've done. Yeah, so that's pretty good. And the, the, uh, the output right now is a direct digital synthesis uh, from the It's quite impressively good. 